Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Okay, before I get out here, it's very cold out here, y'all. Oh, it's cold, it's cold. But whatever side of the diaspora that you own, I want to welcome you. And I really want to bring this story before for you because. You know, a lot of y'all don't think it's a problem. Well, a lot of y'all think it's a, some of y'all do. I want to be fair, but I want to reiterate how much of a problem that it is that you know why the internet can be a valuable tool. It can be the most destructive piece of furniture that you can have in your home, pretty much. If you don't know how to use it, or if you are not, you know, if you are not, how should I say it, grounded in some type of moral commitment to yourself. Let's put it like that. Um, this story I'm about to bring to y'all today is a story that it, it bases itself in so much madness because, uh, you know, it reeks the low self-esteem for women. It reeks of uh, inappropriate behavior by young men that have been trained to violate women, pretty much. Nobody wants to talk about the rape culture that is acceptable and has permeated its way through the American fiber. Um, and it is not something that most males want to talk about. But I'm here to tell you, yeah, it is a rape culture. You uh, folks, you male folks, most of y'all haven't been guided by men who act appropriately. So you don't even know how the appropriate way to even treat them. Most of y'all don't. You come on to her, you see her at the gas station, or you see her walking down the street, and the first thing your stupid self do is say, hey, baby, come here. You know, let's just start right there. Who in the hell do you think you are by telling another grown person or a person to come to you, but you want to talk to me? You see how your stinky, your, your thinking is stinking? And so the, the hood is so infiltrated, like pit bulls, full of these uh, ill men, untrained, uncivilized males that act just like animals. And they're all in the community. And the sad part about it is because the women that are childbirth age, they so desperate and they want a relationship. You can't blame them. You can blame them for being desperate, but you can't blame them for wanting uh, the social interaction with another human being. But if you don't have a healthy spirit of discernment and your mama ain't taught you nothing, your mama wasn't what y'all call strict, because that's why I like to call it now, because most of the strict kids, I'm not saying that things don't happen to them. Please don't underestimate what I'm saying. But when you don't have nothing in you, you can't pull nothing out. So this story I'm about to share is just malcontent on both sides. And I would say especially the woman because nobody has taught her her worth. Because when you know your worth, you might do certain things. Like I told y'all about the story about me getting in that car when I was, because I was lazy and I didn't want to walk to school. But I knew better. But I knew better. And when I hitchhiked and that happened to me, it was like one of the worst experiences of my life. So I get it. I'm not coming here from a judgment perspective. I'm coming from a perspective that we have to learn how to instill healthy attributes inside of our children. We have to sit there. And if you don't have the wherewithal, this conversation sounds crazy to you, then you need the help. If you can't sit down for five minutes and listen to somebody telling you something that may save your life, you messed up. That's what's wrong with the little the little orange haired boy right now. He didn't want to listen to nobody. The red the, the boy with the red, white, and blue hair or the green and rainbow hair. No, he didn't want to listen. So what I'm saying is we've been adjudicated those of us who are older on the planet. And it's kind of hard to relate to these people because the government has dummied them down. And the internet has dummied them down. 
why he acts again. The internet has been the greatest blessing. It can also have been the greatest curse. And that's why. That's why. At Ken Services, we're making a real concerted effort in this campaign to ask people to take control of their mental health. It is so important. Black, white, male, female, it don't matter. You got to take control of your dome. Your dome is whacked. Your thinking is stinking. And so, in order to uh, 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 go forward this movement, I think it's very important that people understand why we uh, have the t-shirts up here for 10 bucks, all sizes. Take control of your mental health. Because as a movement, as a as a thinking, a conscious human being, you should want to do this. You should know that anybody with something wrong like this or a logo that says, I'm controlling my mental health, you already know that at least they're working on this, they thinking. But you got so many people here that need to be locked up. The hood is a graveyard, a straight up cemetery full of walking corpses that talk obituary. Ain't that what you say, Brother Gat Turner? I love you to death and you so right. Let me read this story to y'all so I can get out of this filth. A Milwaukee man has been charged. My daughter sent me this story, by the way, and she was telling me how ridiculous that the that 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 this, that, that the, the worst. So I decided to read it to y'all because I hope some young person hears this story and think that their life is valuable enough not to get in the car with a stranger. Even if you got your car, stay in your own car. A Milwaukee man has been charged with aiding in one instance what police suspect as a serial gang rape operation. This what they do now? They gotta take sex? All these hoes walking up and down the street. You. Uh, uh, okay. Serial gang rape operation that targets women through dating apps. As many as five or six men were involved. One victim told police she was assaulted for, her, for hours. And she was blindfolded and threatened to blow her head off if she tried to see their faces. The Vancia McGaffey. McGaffey. Yeah, 21. Look, so young. So young. Just hideous. Was charged this week with forcibly aiding and abetting first degree sexual assault and kidnapping both as a party to the crime for a November incident in Milwaukee. A 19 year old woman came to the police district, which is down the street from me, November 13th. She said she had met someone named Kales who she later identified as McGaffey two days earlier via a dating internet a, a dating app called Tag. Y'all know Tag. They agreed to meet near 58th and North and West Hampton Avenue, where she got into his silver SUV. Even though she drove herself there, she then took her ass out of her car and got into a car with a complete stranger. McAfee didn't say much as they turned onto North 64th Street. I know he didn't. And the, the woman said, she said, then another man she had not seen sat up in the back seat. Now, you can imagine that was already freaky right there. That was scary. And then wrapped his arm over her face, pointing a gun at her neck and said, get back here before blindfolding her. After about 15 minutes of driving, this is the woman said the SUV stopped and the two men led her up some stairs to an apartment in a living room where she heard several men's voices, some identifying one as the boss or as boss. Boss ordered everyone to undress and someone else said to get the box of condoms. She said she was ordered to perform sex acts and was continually assaulted by the men over the, about the next five hours until boss decided, okay, I'll drive you back home. And he drove her back to her car while she was still blindfolded and while she was in the back seat with McCaffrey. Boss told her not to turn around once she was let go or they would kill her. Instead of calling 911 immediately, 
the woman did her own online sleuth and she and she told the police. She told the police. She posted on Facebook the photo of Kells from the tag app and asked for help in identifying him. She then found a Facebook page for Von the Don Baker that used the same photo and then learned his first real name. Police then helped fully identify McGaffey, whom the police picked, whom the woman picked out of a, a, a photo array at lineup as the men, as the man that raped her on 58th and Hampton. McAfee first denied assaulting anyone or even having a tagged account. I don't know, because you sound weak as hell, dude. This what y'all doing now? Y'all, this is the sorriest sexist. But the next day, he confessed that he would set up the dates, pick up the women with the second man hiding in the back seat who would blindfold them before they were taken to an apartment in the 5300 block of North 63rd Street. McAfee said he was the driver at at least five incidents, but only assaulted one of the women. Okay, yeah, yeah, yang yeah. And that he believed others in the group probably committed similar crimes at other locations without him. Maybe, maybe not. Because I wouldn't did it in the first place. Last week, police searched the North 63rd Street address and found an ID benefit cards belonging to a woman who reported the November 11th assault, plus a handgun and a loaded magazine for a handgun. Young ladies, have more value for yourself than to get into the vehicle of someone. Nobody can ever tell her nothing now because at least she survived. And I'm so glad that you did, young lady, because now you have a story to tell other young women of please not what to do. And that your mamas are not just being old-fashioned when they tell you don't get into a car with strangers. And I know you may want to have companionship or somebody giving you some attention. But all attention ain't good attention. And that's certainly not the kind of attention that you want. It's not. I, if y'all have heard this story, give me your comments below. Tell me what y'all think about this. Is this the new wave now? The new rape schemes? Is how they do things now? Like what you hear. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll be back a little later with a video. Right here in the middle.